Super excited to be here. I know uh, it's been a couple months since we've launched one of our meetings here. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work in the background to make LBA stronger and better than ever. So we've got some major updates today that I'm going to share. Uh, but before I get into the meat and potatoes, I am going to have the one and only Jeff Levitan, my friend, partner. Um, super excited to have him here. It's been a while and he's excited here. Jeff, you there? Gabe, I am. Um, Gabe and I had been speaking, everybody. You know, we're ready for, he's going to launch. Obviously, AEP is coming up and we're excited about another great season. And we, we think this is going to be our first breakthrough season uh, because of you, because many of you got your feet wet the last couple of years. Uh, some of you are still brand new and some of you aren't so brand new. You're ready to hit it this year. And we think some of you can do three, four, 500 policies this season and really get your career going. And we were we sat down in a, a strategy session not long ago and we were talking about how our compensation with better didn't really go with the traditional model of Medicare. And we were brainstorming of a way to incentivize people to build their Medicare business and team um, maybe a little bit differently than the way that better had all of its other products. And I wanna let you know that we think we came up with a better solution. Um, better by itself was always meant to be the person who's writing any sort of business or referring the business gets most of the money, which is how it should be. It was not meant to be an entitlement compensation program where somebody who did almost nothing a long time ago gets right. the majority of the money forever. It's the one who's working gets most of the money. And that's how it should be. But the whole override system or soft marketing dollars being shared, uh, Gabriel's got a better plan. And I think uh, Better's going to be connected with LBA for a long time as just as a platform, because Better is a platform to serve people in the sales industry, particularly financial services, but any sales industry that just want to add a diversity of products and services. And um our other products, our health insurance and health share and our debt and all the other products are, are doing great and they're fine on the platform the way they are. But we think this one needs to always just be a referral partner and people that want to get, get into Medicare and make it a profession. It needs to be a profession. The seniors require somebody knowledgeable to handle it. And the people that do do that need to be compensated fairly and greatly for it. So... I'm excited about where this is going. Uh, it's been a slower start than I thought that we would have, but I just like anything, um, not everything happens fast, but, uh, but I think it's worth it. And I know that just the age I'm at now, I've got a lot of family members and aunts and uncles that are all hitting 65 and, and uh, need these services and products and I'm glad to offer them to them. So Gabe, appreciate our partnership. You know, wish you and Camilla and all the kids safety during the during this hurricane. Hopefully it's one of these things that's lighter than they expect. I don't know if it will be, but I pray that it is and it moves quickly through and that you and your family are safe. So I'll turn it back over to you and let you make the announcements. And uh, and I'm excited about the direction that it's heading in. Thank you, Gabe. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate the good wishes and, and all of the team here in Florida. We appreciate you. Really good seeing you, Jeff. Hadn't seen you in a little bit, man. You look good. Uh, Thank you. We'll catch up soon, okay? Uh, well, let's plan something to get together soon, man. Take care of yourself, and we'll be in touch. You got it. Thanks, Gabriel. All right. Take care. All right, guys. Well, super excited to be here. Um, as most of you probably know me, or for those of you that don't know me, I'm the CEO and founder of Legacy Benefit Alliance. And we are a Medicare agency. Uh, we've been talking about adding ACA. ACA is something that's going to be added here in the future. We just haven't launched it because we want to make sure that everybody has had the opportunity to get trained properly on the Medicare side, learn that side, as it has a little bit more regulation uh, by CMS than ACA. ACA is very, very easy to add once you understand the Medicare side. But uh, anyways, for those of you that don't know me, I am very passionate about Medicare. I am an independent financial advisor myself. Uh, I have a practice here in RIA and in an insurance company here in Orlando, Florida that I've owned for 15 years. 
And I added Medicare to my practice about eight years ago. And let me tell you, it was one of the best decisions that I ever made was adding Medicare to my practice. It just continuously brings clients uh, across my desk all the time um, without me really having to put much effort other than taking care of my clients the right way. And the referrals are just like no other industry that I've ever seen before. Once you help somebody with Medicare, you have a client for life. And that opens up all your other services that you may have, whether that's life insurance, you know, if you do real estate, um, mortgages, I mean, you name it, this is something that you could just add into what you're already doing. And for my practice, it's really, really just taking it to a whole nother level. And then also, of course, we all know that Medicare is anybody that turns 65 or older is going to qualify or have to go on Medicare and sign up for a plan or they will be penalized. And um, obviously, um, it doesn't matter if they're poor, middle of the road or wealthy, they're going to they're going to you're going to have that opportunity to sit down with them and educate them uh, when they turn 65 years old, three months before three months after they turn 65 and help them get enrolled. And these plans change all the time, guys, every year. So we always have an open enrollment period, which is getting ready to start next week, next Tuesday. So October 15th, super exciting time. This is the time of year where everybody could take a look at the new plans coming out for the new year for 2025. And you can present new plans and help them uh, upgrade their plans possibly. Um, so super, super excited. But anyways, for those of you in the insurance world, definitely make sure, I always call it that Medicare's peanut butter and jelly insurance and Medicare, the health side, it's like peanut butter and jelly, just makes that perfect sandwich and it allows you to service clients, you know, and I'm not gonna share it today. I'm not gonna do some case studies, but I do plan on doing some case studies, um, uh, trainings in the near future. And by the way, we record all our trainings. This one is being recorded. So if you have anybody on your team or anybody you wanna share this, this is gonna be downloaded in our YouTube channel. We're gonna put the link here and I'm gonna share several documents here with you in the chat in a little bit and you can go back and watch this uh, on demand or share it with some of your team members or anybody that you'd like to get uh, into Medicare with you, okay? But I am gonna be putting some future trainings and I'm gonna go be going over some case studies of some of the financial plans that I have done for some of my clients that with my own pen, they came in as a Medicare client and I've generated 200, 400, 300, $100,000 in commissions off one client that I serve for Medicare. And then the best part about it is you get 50% renewals on that person's life as long as they're alive or they don't switch out of that plan. You get a 50% passive income renewal on this. We're going to go over the compensation. I have a brand new compensation schedule that I'm getting ready to share with you guys here today, which I think a lot of you are going to be super excited. We've made it super simple. There's not going to be any five generational tiers and this and that and partner pools and all this crap. We're giving all the money up to you guys up front. We're going to keep it extremely easy for you guys. And there's literally no excuse for you to not go out there now and build a massive, massive Medicare agency and business. So super excited to go over that. Now, before we get started, great seeing some of you. Ronnie, good seeing you, buddy. I haven't seen you or talked to you in a little bit. Armando, I see Armando's on here. I know Armando's in the Tampa area, so I know he's taking time from being with his family here in Florida, but good to see you. Bria, good to see you too, sweetie. I know you're on here as well, but guys, um, before we get started, so the first thing I want to touch on is our new agent guide. For those of you that don't know that we have a new agent guide, which I'm getting ready to share. Let me go ahead and add this here. I'm going to put it on the chat. All you have to do is click on it. It's a PDF file. You can click on it. You can follow along. I'm going to put it up here on my screen, but save it, download it. You can save it to your phone. You can save it to your computer and you can easily share this with anybody on your team. And it's step-by-step -step instructions on how to get started with LBA. Okay. That's simple. Anybody you hand this to can go ahead and follow these steps and they'll know exactly what they need to do if they want to get involved in Medicare and learn the business and get going, okay? So I'm going to start off with that because we've got a lot of new people on the call here today, and then we've got some veterans that are on the call that have been with us for a while now, but I want you to know this resource. It just got updated, and I want to go over each step here to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So let me go ahead and share my screen, and, uh, and then I'll open it up for questions 
uh, after I go through this. Can everybody see that? Just give me a quick thumbs up if you could see my screen. It's just say new agent guy. Okay, great, guys. So this right here is right hot off the press. Oh, we just got Patrina here, which is one of our top, top Medicare producers. But I don't know. Bria's been killing it. Bria's doing really good, too. Um, all right. Well, well, Patrina, good to have you on the call here. We're getting ready to go over our new agent guide here. So this is important. So here we go, guys. Let's dive in and go into the details. This is hot off the press. I'm going to make it a little bigger here so everybody could see what's going on. Okay. So step one. Before, everybody used to have to go through the Better platform, right? You had to get enrolled with Better. You no longer need to do that. You certainly can be a part of the Better team. So remember, LBA is a separate company. We're not a Better company. We're a Better partner. So we do partner and we refer each other business, but we're not part of the Better commission structure. We pay our own commissions directly to the agents through the insurance carrier. So you no longer have to go through the actual Better Income website. All you gotta do is, guess what? You go directly through our website. If you haven't seen our website, guys, I'll pull it up here real quick so you can see it. Bear with me one second, got a few screens going here. We got a really awesome website. Let me share that here. So it's www.legacybenefitsalliance.com. And let me show you that. Boom, share screen. All right, guys, so here's our website. For those of you that have never gone to it or seen it, it's designed for the agent, and it's also designed for clients to check us out, right, if they want to check out who Legacy Benefits is. So right here, it's not you, it's them, ditch your old FMO. So we've got some of the highest compensations in the industry, which we're going to go over. But once you sign in here, all you got to do is you click Get Started if you're a new agent, and it's going to walk you through on exactly what you need to do. If you're a veteran agent, you go here and you click on agent login and you're gonna, it's gonna take you to your Spark platform. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about this. I'm gonna go back to the new agent guide, but wanted to show everybody the website. So make sure you write that down. That's an important information there. It's legacybenefitsalliance.com. All right, so back to the agent guide. <clears throat> Brand new person, you're getting on board on your team. They're going to click on get started on the website. Once the page uploads, they're going to go to get contracted, right? In order to sell Medicare health insurance plans, you got to be contracted with the carriers and you have to be set up and appointed. You got to do your AHIP certification. You got to get certified with the carriers. And then you're what's called RTS, which is ready to sell. All right. So there's a five minute video that explains to them exactly how to get through the contracting process. If they're brand new, they just go straight through. If they're transferring from another FMO or IMO, they just click transfer and they get everything set up that way and our team will take care of it. While we're waiting to be contracted with the carriers, you must complete your AHIP certification. Everybody knows this is a yearly requirement by CMS, guys. Um, you have to do it. This is not an LBA thing. This is a government thing. You have to do it. So below, we actually share a link that has a $50 discount if you go through our link here uh, and you'll get $50. So it lowers the cost to $125 instead of $175. So that's, hey, 50 bucks is 50 bucks, right, guys? So that's the way you're going to get a discount on your Medicare AHIP certification. And by the way, if you need help, we're going to go over the helpful resources. If this is your first year doing AHIP, AHIP could be a little bit of a bear. It's not hard, but it is a little bit time consuming. All right, someone from our contracting team will reach out within two business days. If you don't get a call from somebody in our contracting uh, contracting team within two business days, please reach out to them. Guys, we're very busy. We're handling pretty much all 50 states, okay, and U.S. territory. So be patient. Um, we have a team that's there for you, but they are very busy, and they're going to do everything they can to get back to you in two business days. If not, feel free to reach out to them. No problem. Okay, step two. Step two is you are going to go back to LegacyBenefitAlliance.com and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the website and we have an LBA affiliated agreement, okay? So we do require that. You must initial and sign the document and email back to us at support at LegacyBenefitsAlliance.com. All right, so that right now is actually in the works. We're going to send out a blast email once it's live on the website. I just talked to the developers before the call and they hadn't finished it yet, but this is going to be uploaded. It's just our affiliate agreement. 
to make sure that everything's clear between you guys and us on what we're paying you, everything, okay? This is a required document. Make sure you turn it in immediately so it does not hold up your commissions, contracting, or any type of future promotions. Step number three, once you're appointed with the insurance carriers, you will need to go through a certification process. We talked about that already. Each company has their own certification, okay? So usually what I tell my agents, especially if you're brand new, guys, there's a lot of insurance companies out there, just like life insurance. There's not as many on the Medicare side, but there is still quite a few. What you really want to do is get set up with the top two to three carriers in your area, okay? And we actually have a link right down here that you could click on and it you can put in your area, your city, your zip code, and it'll tell you what the top carriers are in your, in your area. And you can get signed up with those and start with those. As you get more seasoned in Medicare and learn the business, you can always add anybody you want, any company. Uh, you can add that in the future. But to get started, the top two or three, you know, most of my business that I deal with in my clientele, nine out of 10 times, I'm going to be doing either United Healthcare, Humana, uh, and sometimes Aetna. But most of the time, you know, those are the top two here in Florida and Central Florida that we do. So figure out which ones those are in your area. Very important. Don't get stuck on, oh my God, now I got to get certified with 10 companies. No, you do not. Don't waste time with that. Just get the top two or three. <clears throat> and we put that in here. We recommend that you start with two or three insurance carriers in your area and then click on that link. Again, you guys have this document already shared there so you guys can download that. All right. All right, moving along here. Step number four, once you're appointed, you're now and done your certifications, you're now ready to sell. So go to LBA's YouTube channel and subscribe. So I'm going to take the, the time here real quick and show you guys this. Because this has, it's a huge resource for you guys, especially you brand new people on here that don't know even how to spell Medicare yet. And you're like, oh my God, I don't know anything about Medicare. This is going to be a huge resource. So I'm going to show, I'm going to share my screen here and I'm going to show you our channel. And all you have to do is go in there, click and subscribe, and you'll get any updates every time we do a meeting or we do any trainings or anything like that. It's going to be uploaded to our YouTube channel here. And you can go back and watch this on demand. Or if you miss one of our meetings, you can go back and watch it on demand. All right. So here you go. Here's our website. There's me with the, my mouth open or something. <laughs> one of our, our training videos here. But right here, we have a plethora. If you click on videos... Um, you can go there and there's a ton of videos and the ones that we are going to suggest, I'm going to go back here to the other screen in a second. There's uh, there's Ronnie, Ronnie, there you are. Um, Ronnie shares a little bit about his secret sauce and we've got some others. We got Patrina in the house here and Connie, some of our top producers that are, uh, are out there working. Here's Adam, um, but watch it. And you're going to learn a lot from your team members. And we've got some great trainings that Carl Judd, uh, has done in the to teach you and simplifies how to do Medicare. We actually have four videos that if you watch, we call it page two, page three, and page four. Let me go back to the other screen here to show you. If you watch these four videos, and they're only about anywhere from five to eight minutes long, and if you watch all four of these videos, you will literally know how to write Medicare. <laughs> That's how simple it is, guys. Uh, so don't overcomplicate this. It's that simple. So right here, step four, once you're ready to sell, go onto our YouTube channel, watch videos titled Medicare, page one, two, three, and four. These videos will teach you how to sell Medicare correctly, okay, how to do things right. We encourage you to browse our video library and watch as many training videos as possible. Everything you need to know about selling Medicare lives in our video library. We also encourage you to log in to the Spark portal and look up training resources available. Check the calendar for upcoming trainings and watch previous trainings on demand. All right, so real quick, and I know we're going to get into the Spark portal here in a second. Um, how many on you, just raise your hand, and there's a button you can hit to raise your hand. How many of you actually use your Spark portal? <laughs> Are you guys using it? Make sure that you're set up with your Spark portal. If you're not set up with your Spark portal, you're not doing this right. This is the lifeblood of your business, the Spark portal is your CRM system. It's your client relationship management system. It allows you to keep track of all your clients, 
They even have drip marketing where you could stay in touch with your clients all year round. And they do automated uh, mail outs and emails and all kinds of things on your behalf. Plus all the upcoming trainings on different topics are going to be on your, pla your Spark platform. So I'm actually going to just click on here real quick and I'm going to show you, I'm, I am in a, in a dummy version here, but let me show you what your Spark platform, and there's a link here in your new agent guide, obviously that's going to show you. But I encourage everybody to make sure that you're set up in your plat your Spark platform to keep track of all your book of business, all your clients, everything. It's all here. So if you guys could see here, and obviously there's not much here because this is a dummy file that I'm showing you right now. But right here, you've got your contacts where you'll be able to see all your clients, their name, their phone number, their addresses, everything, their birthdays. You can set up this birthday tab. We actually have a campaign where you can do birthdays. Well, it'll send out birthday cards on the client's birthday without you even having to think about this stuff, guys. It'll just automatically do it. People that are turning 65, if you've got leads, right? Everything here, and then you can actually keep track of your team. And then you've got everything from support, activity, providers, dashboard. And then you guys, uh, there's a video on our YouTube channel called Medicare Sunfire, right? Who uses Sunfire? I love Sunfire. I use it almost every time I write a piece of business. It's so easy. It basically does all the work for you. And it allows you to enroll and look at all the plans under one platform with any of the carriers that you're set up with. And you can access your Medicare Sunfire platform right from here and enroll your clients immediately. And we even have a system built in now that if you want to record, you know that per CMS guidelines, we have to record or you can videotape, do a Zoom, or you can use a recording when you do a meeting, right? When you do a sign up, we actually have to record them now just to make sure that you're staying compliant. So that's all built in. It's all there for you guys. If you go here to the top right, it'll give you any major announcements or any notifications that we've got. And then right here, if you click on that little box, look at this right now. This has all of the upcoming AEP trainings right here, enhanced contract filtering for AEP success. We've got Sunfire update software. We've got, oh, this is a big one, guys. Write this down right now. I want you guys to go back and take a look at Sparks AEP, which is the annual enrollment period, essential toolboxes here. Everything you need to know and have is right here in your AEP Essential Toolbox, guys. So go right here. So all these updates, and you can go back and watch trainings. They have trainings on Sunfire. They have trainings on Medicare one-on-one. -on -one. They have trainings on compliance. You name it. All of that is here. It's all here for you guys, any topic. And they have a library where you can go back and watch all of this in demand. So a lot of time people reach out to support and they're like, oh my God, we don't know what to do. Guys, you're not using the resources that we spend thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars on for you guys to have on demand, all right? I know some of us are old school. I'm old school in a way myself, but you got to get in touch with technology. Technology is not leaving, okay? It's getting more advanced. We have AI, right? You guys know about chat GPT, all these things, and it's going to become the norm. And if you don't get in touch with your, your technology, you're really going to be left behind, guys. So use the technology and the tools that we have available for you guys. So this is the Spark platform. It's going to be on your new agent guide. Make sure that you are taking advantage of that. All right, let's go back to the new agent guide here. And let's keep going. All right, so for the new people on here, we have leads. A lot of times we'll get questioned, hey, do you guys have leads? Yes, we have seven lead systems. We have a link where you could click and it's going to send you to a PDF and the link will provide you the contact information for each lead system. We recommend you research all the seven systems and determine which one fits best for your style of selling. Go to each of their websites. You can call them, talk to the representatives, and they'll explain their programs to you. We have things all the way from live transfer leads to doing seminars to doing mailer drops. Those are one of my favorites. I like to do different zip codes and area code and I'll put an event at a library or at an assisted living facility or something like that. And I will get a bunch of clients from that, okay? So you've got seven lead systems. There's no excuse why you're not staying busy out there, especially if you're brand new. Once you're in this business one or two years, you're gonna be 100% referral business, guys, if you're doing this right. If you're in this business two years or more and you're not a referral guy, 
you're doing or, or gal, you're not doing this right. So we'll have another training on on referrals and asking for referrals in another meeting. But very important, we do have seven lead systems there. All right, LBA departments and important contact information. So let's go over this here real quick. <clears throat> really important. Okay, so I'm the CEO of the company, guys. I get a lot of calls in Texas, and I don't mind helping anybody. But understand that I run the company. I'm doing back office things. I've got my own other companies that I run. I own a real estate company. You know, I do a lot of different things. So I'm not the easiest person to get a hold of all the time. So use our resources. We have uh, three different departments that are available for you to make sure that you always on demand can get the help that you need. Number one, you've got the contracting and Spark platform support. I just showed you the Spark platform. If you have any questions or you don't know how to do something, you could call this number, 212-847-0697. Extension one is contracting and extension two is the Spark platform. If they don't answer because they're on the phone or busy, leave a message. They will call you back. They're open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So they're always there available to help you. And then you can email them at cpt at legacybenefitalliance.com. So that is going to be anything related to Spark, platform support, or contracting. If you're working on contracting certifications, AHIP, that's the number you're going to want to call. The next department is going to be training and sales support. So we're a virtual company. We're a technology company. LBA is light years ahead of a lot of the co uh, companies that offer Medicare brokers out there. And one of the things that makes us different is that our technology is uh, way above and beyond what you're going to find out there in a traditional broker type firm. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to leverage technology, guys. And the way that we're going to leverage technology here is, number one, here's your resources for training. LBA YouTube channel. We just talked about that. Most of your answers are on that channel. Spark Portal Training Library. I just showed you when you log into your Spark Portal, top right-hand corner, there's a little box with a, with a heart on it. You save that for your favorites. You click there and you can find all sorts of topics. We have an entire uh, training library in there as well for you. The third one is Insurance Carriers, Agent Support Line, and Events. I can't stress this enough. Bria's on our call. Hey, Bria, are you there? Bria, if you could hear me, can you come on for one second? Just want to. Yes, share. I can hear you. Okay, so I not to pick on Bria, but Bria does a really good job with this. Bria, um, share with them. Do you leverage your local insurance brokers, Humana, United? Can you can you share a little bit about that real quick with the team? Um, yeah, you can ask them for co-op dollars if they have them for leads. And then you can also get set up in different facilities. Like um, Aetna set me up in CVS. Yep. And they also set me up into Oak Street Health, which is one of the preferred providers for Aetna and Humana, like GenCare, Cinewell, and stuff like that. Yep. Um, even Centerwell. You get two hundred dollars for every client that you new client that you bring to their facility too. So awesome. there's a lot of ways to generate leads from the carriers. Thank you, appreciate that. So Bria does a really good job of that. She's always done a really good job of leveraging these carriers. These carriers, especially right now during this open enrollment period, they have a lot of dollars to give to agents to help you invest, to do mailers or apply to one of those seven lead systems or, you know, do an event. I know another person, Petrina here, she's always doing an event. I think it, Petrina, I don't know if it was today or yesterday. I saw you on Facebook. You know, Petrina is always out there in front of people and she leverages the carriers. And here's another thing. They do a lot of in-person. If you're a hands-on person and you want to sit down and learn, um, they do in-person trainings. They do a lot of Zoom trainings, but in your local area, it doesn't matter what state you're in, they have local events and trainings that go on all the time. So leverage those. If you don't feel like you have enough resources with what we're providing, you can leverage these insurance carriers. And then of course you have your agent broker support line that you can call. If you're with a client and you don't know the answer to a question, you can call them right then and there and they can help you answer any questions that you may have to make sure you answer that. Uh, and then lastly, reach out to your general agent on your team. 
So probably you're scratching your head right now and saying, what is a general agent? So we're going to get to that because that's part of our new compensation plan that we're going to talk about. So now we're going to be starting to build what's called general agent, which is basically going to be your upline or your senior person that you can go to. We want these people to build big teams and help provide support. So those are anything related to training and sales support, recruiting, building agency support. So that's where I come in. If you need help with recruiting or presenting uh, this Medicare opportunity to a, to a new individual or an agency or somebody, you can reach out to me. There's my email. You're going to, again, you have this in your chat already, but I'll be happy to, to talk with them and help you get uh, a team built if you need help with that. And then make sure you reach out to us, to the correct department. It's very important. Don't reach out to training or any of the other departments. Make sure you reach out to the right one. If you need further assistance or you can't reach uh, LVA management or you need to reach LVA management, you can always email us at support at legacybenefitalliance.com and we'll get back to you. Uh, we do everything we can to get back to you within 24 hours or less. Okay. So that's your contacts there. <clears throat> All right. One more page here that I want to go over on the new agent guide is going to be important communication resources, right? So you want to stay in touch with the LBA. So one of the ways we do that, we've got four main ways of doing that. The first one is LBA Spark Portal, okay? I just went over that with you. That's the one I just showed you. So that one's the main, that's going to be your main way of staying in communication is the, is, uh, the agent portal for Spark Agent Portal. Here you can track your teams, downlines, clients, training resources, Medicare news, and much more. LBA's portal does not have individual commissions. Make sure you visit your appointed carrier's direct website. The only thing we don't put on there is going to be your commissions because that's through your carriers, okay? So you go to them directly. Second thing was the YouTube channel. We already talked about that. I'm not gonna repeat myself there. We've got another way to connect, which is the Mighty Network, which most of you are on there. So the Better Platform has a network and they have invited LBA to be part of that network. So we're a part of that network. And you can go to this link, you could sign up and you're going to join the LBA channel specifically. And that's like a Facebook where you could post things. If you want to share, I know Bria, you put a beautiful picture of you uh, in CVS or something the other day. You can go on that channel, post it there, encourage others. You know, that's what the portal's for. Ask questions, share things, share, share successes, share good stories, keep it positive, keep it clean. But that's where we all communicate through this Facebook type uh, uh, platform that's called Mighty Networks. And then the last one, this is only for licensed agents. We haven't been too active lately, but I want to start reactivating this some more. But this is our VIP communication. This communication channels by invitation only. And in order to qualify uh, for this exclusive group of top agents, you must be licensed, be ready to sell status and have at least written five policies or more to be in this inner circle. That's LBA's top agent. Share the best tips. You can ask questions, address concerns, and get on-demand help with cases when needed. Leadership also monitors the group, make surprise visits, handouts, leads. Uh, I've gone on there and said, hey, is there somebody in Arizona that would like lead? And I'll hand it out, right? So make sure that you qualify for this. Once you meet the criteria, send an email to support and we will send you an invitation once we verify that you meet all the qualifications, okay? All right, guys, so that's pretty much it, guys. That is from start to finish, okay? That is our how to get started new agent guide with LBA. As you can see, it's super easy. There's four steps. We have simplified it and made it easier than ever. This is all hot off the press and updated and all up to date to make sure that you guys have all the resources needed. Okay, let's go ahead and go over the new agent guy. Can everybody see that? I'm sorry, the compensation. Can everybody see that? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, perfect. Yes. Let me make it a little bigger here. Okay, guys. So the first thing that I want to go over is remember that LBA had the uh, LBA powered agency. You guys remember the portal that we had? So that portal is gone. Okay. We no longer have that portal. We have shut the portal down. So you no longer have to go to LBA powered agency, okay? From now on, you're gonna go to the Spark portal that I showed you earlier. That's, you're gonna be your main hub for anything re related to your clients or LBA or news, okay? So we are no longer using the LBA powered agency. 
So you could take that off your favorites, get rid of it. We don't have it anymore. It's going away tomorrow. We're shutting it down. Okay. <clears throat> so what's going to happen now? So here's the 25, uh, 2025. So 2025, uh, this upcoming year, you guys know that when you're writing an open enrollment, you're writing for the upcoming year. Unless you're here in Florida, you know, we get hit with hurricanes all the time. You can actually write all the plans uh, as a, a SCP special election period, right? All the way to the end of the year. So you can still be writing for 2024 till the end of the year with special election period. And we're probably going to get even a bigger extension now because we're about to get annihilated with this Milton uh, hurricane. But if you didn't know that, guys, if you're writing business in Florida, you could be writing business every day till the end of the year, effective immediately. You guys understand what I mean by that, right? If you write a plan during open enrollment and you sell them a 2025 plan, you don't get paid till January 1st because you're writing. The plan doesn't go into effect till January 1st, right? But if you write the plan for 2024, if you find that person a better plan in 2024, you can sign them up immediately. Let's say you write them in October 18th. It'll be effective November 1st. Makes sense? You get paid November 1st. Okay, so you have that option if you're writing in the state of Florida. Okay, so here's our compensation. So this part has pretty much remained the same, um, except um, we're going to add a second step to this, which I'm, I'm going to explain and go over here. But look how simple this is, guys. We're going to pay everybody top dollar. You're getting 100% commission. It's called street level commission going into 2025 right now. The commission for anybody turning 65 is $626. And we're showing you the average. Every state's a little different. Some states like New Jersey, they get paid more in California. But here in Florida, this is the commissions. And most other states are going to be the same. So this is brand new to Medicare. Turning 65 or, uh, and some of the carriers will pay as a brand new if it's new to the plan or to that company. All right, so all agents are paid directly by the carriers for their compensation. LBA is not paying you the compensation. Whatever carrier you write, so if you write Humana or United or Cigna, they will pay you directly, okay? So if you have any questions on your commissions, you call that carrier, not LBA. We don't handle commissions. <clears throat> so the next box here is, this is new to Medicare, turning 65, and this is a renewal or plan change. You are going to get half of that essentially. So here's where your 50% renewals, you get 626 and you get half of that for the rest of that client's life. As long as they don't pass away or they don't switch with another plan with another broker, you're going to get paid $313 yearly as your renewal. So 50% essentially renewals for the rest of that client's life. So if you are a writing agent, you're writing with your own pen, which this is what we really want to focus everybody on is to get out there and write. I write a ton of business. Just last Friday, I wrote six policies myself with my own pen, and I did them all in Zoom calls, every single one of them. I, I wasn't even out in the field. These are all Zoom, Zoom meetings that I did, just referrals that I got. Okay, so that is new to Medicare and renewal. Okay, any questions on this before I go to the next section here on how you get paid? Okay, you're getting 100% street, street level commission. We're not diluting it. You get 100% of it. Everybody good? Clear on that? Yes, thumbs up. Okay, let's keep moving. Medicare supplements, right? So some of the changes, everybody heard about the changes for Medicare supplements for 2025? You guys hear it or no? Let me just share that real quick before I get into it. The biggest thing for Medicare supplements is Part D is going to have a $2,000 cap, okay? So the Part D, the you know, Part D is the prescription drug plans. The plans have a $2,000 cap. That's really bad. That's really bad for supplement Part D. So guess what? That means that if people are in supplement plans, they're going to end up moving to Medicare Advantage plans. So that's good for you if you're doing Medicare Advantage plans because the Part D plans are going to have a $2,000 cap right now going into 2025. That's one of the biggest changes going into 2025 plans. <clears throat> but if you get out there, most of your business, you're going to be writing because Medicare Advantage plans, which is Part C, they're so competitive. They're so benefit rich. So most of the time, eight, nine out of 10 times, you're going to be writing an MAPD plan. Um, but if you do write Medicare SUPS, sometimes it is appropriate. You're also going to get 100% street level commission there. You still get paid directly by the carriers. 
your renewals on that. So I think the PDP plans, which is the prescription drug plans, they pay $106 um, and then they pay 55 renewal. So this is just for the, the part D prescription drug plan. Won't spend too much time because again, most of your business will be probably part C, okay? All right, any questions on that before I go to the next page here? Everybody good, thumbs up? All right. Okay, so here's the big change. Here's the commission structure and the new compensation plan that we came up with. So if you guys remember, our old compensation plan was very confusing, right? It had five tiers and we had a partner pool and a renewal pool. It was just too much. And here's, here's what was happening. A lot of the people that first joined were senior people from insurance firms. And we had a lot of different backgrounds. I won't get into the names, but there's a lot of different insurance companies out there. And we had, I think we had from eight different insurance brokers out there all over the United States joining. And we were having a lot of senior representatives joining that were bringing in teams, but they were doing nothing themselves. That's what Jeff, you heard Jeff talking about it at the beginning of this call, that we better was never designed and built for you to get free rides and sit back and just override everybody, not do any work. That's not reality, guys, right? So that's the way that our commission structure was set up originally, and it wasn't fair for you know, Petrina and Ronnie and these people that are out there writing, Bria, right? Zoe, you guys are out there writing. So we said enough with that. I told Jeff, I said, we're not doing this anymore. I want our people writing to get paid as much as possible. Let's give them all the money. Let's incentivize them. And then let's help them build the team and actually make it worth it for them so they could get paid. And that's what we did. So we simplified this whole process and now you no longer can sit back and just have people on your team and get free money. It's done. We've stopped that 100%. That's no longer allowed. And LBA is no longer structured in a multi-level structure, period. We're done with it, okay? So we are not an MLM anymore. This is 100%. We have some tiers, but just one. So let me show you how simple it is, guys. Agency builder, you will be promoted to what's called a general level agent. You also know it as a GA contract, okay? This is now on the wholesale side. So we're gonna promote you from a street level agent and we are going to kick you up so you get $50 additional per application that you write for turning 65 and you get an additional $25 per application for renewals or, ch or plan changes. So if you saw in the previous page, new to Medicare was $226. So now if you write somebody, you're going to get $276. Again, this depends what state you're writing to, right? Whatever state, you're going to get an extra 50 bucks. Okay. So that's going to put the money directly in your pocket immediately. Okay. So we're not going to, you don't have to worry about these tiers or hitting a pool. None of that. This is immediate. So how do you get this promotion? Very simple. Here's all you got to do. So Ronnie, Let's say this is you right here, okay? All you have to do is if you get three writing agents under you, three team people under you, and each of those agents does at least five Medicare applications, just five, okay? If they each do five, you get promoted to a general agent. That simple. Nothing else. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to jump through hoops. You don't have to do backflips, nothing. This is so easy to hit, it's not even funny. You get three people, they do five clients, you're now a general agent, and anything that those team members of yours write, you're gonna override them $50, right? From street level to general agent, you're gonna override that $50 off of them. So now you have an incentive to bring people to your team and train them, okay? Because guess what? You're gonna get a piece of every single uh, application they write, you're going to get a $50 override or 25 is a, if it's a renewal. That's simple. And you can have as many people as you want. If you want to bring in more agents, you'll get more overrides, obviously, but you don't have to get more than three to get the promotion. And they don't have to do more than five applications each, which doing five applications, guys, is a joke, right? I mean, you could do, mm -hmm. I got guys that are doing three, 400 applications a year. Okay. So, or gals. So, all you got to get, again, the magic number is three and five. You get three people on your team, 
They write five apps and you are going to get promoted to general agent. And guess what? You don't get demoted. Once you hit it, you hit it and you're a general agent. You're not going to lose that position. Okay. You stay at general agent as long as you want. You stay at general agent. You can bring in more people. Or if after that, these people quit or leave, you're still a general agent. You can still make $50 more every application that you write. That's awesome, right? So you don't have to worry about it. So now you're above and beyond. There is not a lot of opportunities out there like this. We're paying you top dollars. We're going into our pocket, our override, and we're giving it back to all of our top agents here. So no longer is people going to sit back and just collect money from your work, right? Everybody has to earn a piece of the pie. So we think this is going to be amazing. It's going to really encourage everybody to get out there and write. And we know that you guys are now going to be compensated the way that you need to. So for anybody on this call right now, if you have this criteria, if you've met this criteria because it's up to you to monitor this, you just have to let us know. We're going to confirm the numbers and then we're going to promote you. Okay, that's how it works. If there's anybody on this Zoom training right now that meets this criteria, reach out to me, send an email to support at Legacy Benefits. Our team's going to look at it. We'll confirm it and we are going to promote you tomorrow. Okay, send that out to us and we'll get you promoted. By the end of this week, you will have your promotion. You'll start getting an additional $50 override. Okay. All right, guys. So that is the new compensation plan. I'm going to drop it here on the Zoom link. Let me shut this down here. And I'm going to attach it so you guys have it. Feel free to share it with anybody on your team. So with that said, guys, that's pretty much it. Those were the main things that I wanted to cover. We've got about five, ten more minutes here. I know some of you are in Florida. I want to respect everyone's time. But let's go ahead and open it up for questions now. Um, can I go first, Gabriel? Yes, and, and, yes. So the recruiting, how do we recruit through better? Or do we have a recruiting link directly to LBA? there's no link. All you have to do is when you get a brand new agent and you contact the contracting team, okay, that person just lets our contracting know that you referred them and that you're going to be able to see them in your Spark platform under your team, okay? So they're going to get coded under your team in the Spark platform. That's all you have to do. There's no agent codes. We track everybody with the national producer number. We all have a national producer number, right? Everybody has one. So that's how we're going to track your agent. So if you have somebody that you recruited that's getting started, just let the, the support or the, the contracting team know and send an email to support at Legacy Benefit Alliance and we make sure that that gets coded to your name. That's it. Okay. Okay. And and you can, you don't have to, okay, I know what you're asking about as well. You're asking about uh, that link that you see in the better platform that, that link, that yeah. link is no yeah. longer active anymore, guys. That's going to be going away. We're going to have that removed. Um, so don't worry about that, okay? We're, we're making this so much easier now. Okay, any other questions, guys? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I, I have a, a question, uh, Gabriel. Um, I'm uh, part of Ronnie's team, and he's been uh, coaxing me to become active in the uh, organization. My question to you is I'm still kind of in the shadows on the link between better LBA bark a hip. It's all a conglomeration at the moment. Okay, so what what part are you confused with? Okay, so better is the main organization, correct? Better is a different organization, correct? We are a better. Uh, a better partner company. So you know better, better itself. Think of better like a marketing company, right? And they have all these different partnerships with inside their companies okay. and they all share business with each other, but they're all separate entities, all of them. So if it's PFN or, you know, the tax or this or that, it's all separate companies, but it's within that better platform. So we can refer each other business. Essentially, that's the whole concept of better. Okay. All right. Okay. So and so you're saying all of our focus should be towards LBA, not particularly better, just LBA. Don't worry um, about if you want to do Medicare, then LBA is the company that you want to be focused on, right? If Medicare is something you're passionate, you want to learn it and want to get going on that, then yes, okay? But you do have the option 
to do anything with inside the platform that better has to offer. There's an opportunity which with each of these carriers. My opinion is it's hard enough to do one thing right in life, right? So <laughs> I would pick one thing that you're passionate about and do that because then you're going to spread yourself too thin. The nice thing about it is this, Tyrone, if you do life insurance, if you have your life insurance license and you're already used to being an insurance person, mm. Medicare goes hand in hand with that, okay? Mm -hmm. Literally yeah. hand in hand with insurance. You can get a lot of cross-selling opportunities and it's really not anything that you have to do much different. You're still speaking with the same client and there's a lot of, um, like I said, peanut butter jug just makes that perfect sandwich. So it's not a big transition out of your insurance world if you're doing Medicare versus if you try to go do taxes, you know, I'm not a tax guy. I don't have any interest in messing with that. You know what I mean? So I'm not focused on any of that stuff or I'm not going to do debt consolidation with PFN. That to me is, you know, that's, I, I, that's not the clientele that I deal with. You know what I mean? But it could be different for everybody else, you know? But um, so I, I focus on insurance and I focus on Medicare. That's, that's my bread and butter. Um, you know, I've got a multiple, multiple six-figure income. I became wealthy doing Medicare. It's a great business to be in and it pays passive income, you know? Uh, I, I'm all about businesses that pay passive income and work smarter, not harder. So every year your book of business is going to get bigger and bigger, and which is nice. So thank you so much. Good question. So Gabriel, you have any Gabriel, questions? Gabriel, are you still yes. part of the Better Platform? I think that's what um, some people want to know. So and are yeah, and are are people still able um that don't have licenses? Are people still able to refer um Medicare business to LBA that don't want to get licensed? Yep. So um yes, they can. We're still part of the better company as a team, but you know that the way that better has the other companies that are inside of better goes through the better commission grids, right? That's what makes it different. LBA is separate. We don't run our commissions through the better platform. Okay. But we are a better company and our information's on their portal and our, and their website and they'll do events and they'll promote, you know, Medicare, but we are a completely separate entity uh, from, from the better commissions and structure. That answer your question, Stacey? Yeah. I was trying to get back to you. Yes, I agree because I'm I'm licensed. I do life insurance and Medicare. So I do it through your company. Um, I don't do it as referral. Perfect, perfect. But yeah, if anybody mm -hmm. wants to refer, we can still get a lot of referrals. And what mm -hmm. we typically do is we have you work it out with that referral person. I would establish a relationship and if somebody's referring business out and they send, we do get a lot of referrals through LBA, we'll send it out and we'll let you know if there is somebody that referred it from the better platform, but we are still keeping the uh, the hundred dollar referral fee. That's still going to be in effect. That won't go away. If somebody that's non-licensed wants to refer that way, they we get free leads, you know, or hundred dollar leads basically. All right. Anybody else? Yes. Uh, hi, Gabriel. Do we get any um, marketing materials to market, you know, what we're doing? Can we get that? Oh, absolutely. So if you go into the Spark platform, okay, and you log into the Spark platform, I want everybody to take some time to actually go in there and spend 20, 30 minutes and click. You can't break anything in the platform. Just click all over and start looking around. You're going to see a lot of your resources, but we've got some a lot of marketing materials there brochures you could print out. I mean, there's a plethora of resources available to you, not only from the Spark platform, but also from your local carriers, right? If you're set up with United, uh, Humana, whatever carrier might be, right now at this time of season, right before open enrollment, they're going to have locations near your area code where you can go and pick up uh, marketing material, booklets, applications, if you like to do it old school, you know, so there's a lot of resources available. But yes, go to your Spark platform and take a look at under training and, and marketing resource. There's a marketing button on there that says literally marketing. If you click on that marketing, I'm looking at it here now. Uh, there'll be a lot of different resources there for you to take a look at. And, you know, here's it. I'm looking at an AEP flyer, um, AEP social media, AEP event mailer. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in here 
that you have access to that you can take a look at and use at your disposal. Okay, and thank you. you. Brand, and you can brand it with your own. You've got your own independent thing going. Like I love Patrina. Patrina's the insurance girl, right? And she's got her own image and her own following and people. And that's great. You know, she's with us, but she's, you know, Patrina's the face, right? And you guys should all be doing that. You should be the Medicare guy or the Medicare gal in your city. Everybody should know you. They don't need to know LBA. They need to know uh, uh, Alyssa Quitty. okay? That's who they need to know. You want to brand yourself. And I, I would encourage you guys to reach out to Petrina. Petrina's killing it with that. You know, she created her own brand. She's doing really good. So, And I've done the same thing. That's how I built my practice. We're Burgos and Brian Wealth Management, and I built my own practice. If you guys go here, I'll share my my website and you guys can take a look at it when you guys get a chance so you can get an idea and i share our, my website as a financial advisor so you guys can mirror that you guys feel free to take take uh ideas and if you need help with anything we'll be happy to help you we even have a really good media guy that can help you set up your own website but i think patrina has got her own website too and you know you can really brand yourself in your community and be that to-go person so that's what you want to do that's how you build a massive book of business Adam, you. you've been quiet, man. How you doing, buddy? It's all good, man. Just uh, getting excited. Good. Getting ready. Ready to tear this thing up. Uh, got into a bunch of new places this year. A lot of retirement communities. So yes. filling up the schedule and and uh, just going to blow this thing up. Excellent, man. I'm excited to see what you put up there, Adam. Super excited. Did you see the compensation? You're going to make more money, buddy. So it's going to be really good. Yep. Awesome, man. It's really exciting. All right, good. Anybody else, guys, while you got me here live? If not, just reach out. Um, you guys know how to get a hold of us. And if you need anything, remember, use the resources. Download the new agent guide. Download the compensation on the chat box. And we'll chat soon, guys. Be on the lookout. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Let us know. And then we will be doing uh, some upcoming events. One of the things I want to put together is I actually want to show you guys how you can use life insurance in Medicare. I want to do a training on that. I want to do some case studies from some of my own personal financial clients and Medicare clients in some of these case studies so I can show you how you can leverage uh, Medicare and make some great commissions doing it. So... Okay. All right, guys, take care. Okay. Somebody so, asked a question. Yes, sir. Good to see you again. Good to see um, you. Do you do they? They just go straight to LBA. They don't have to use betters. So, uh, Ron. They um, do not have to go to better. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, Ronnie, you can. Um, how do we onboard the new teammate to LBA? Is it still to better? No, just go directly to the Legacy Benefits Alliance website. Okay, and then they're gonna click on Get Started. Or just give them the new agent guy. Tell them to follow step one, step two, step three, step four. And then when they call support or the uh, contracting team, they'll just let them know that they're getting set up under you. You're the referral agent. They're going to be on your team and we're going to code them. Once we code them under you in the in the Spark platform, you're going to be able to see that agent. There's a tab that says um, team and you'll be able to see your agents underneath you. Okay. Is Carl coming back to visit with so, us? So no. So that was one announcement. Thank you for reminding me, Zoe. So <laughs> okay, Carl, just unfortunately, we're going to miss Carl. Carl is no longer part of LBA. And mm. the reason being is Carl has a lot going on with the military and they've kind of got him captive. And he's got a lot going on right now. So he's taking a leave of absence, not possibly not forever. You know, he might be coming back in the future. Who knows? But for right now, fortunately, he had to take a leave of absence. He's just not able to handle everything on his plate. So. But okay. thanks for asking, Joe. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. to tell you guys hello. And, yeah. then, um, you know, he wishes everybody the best of luck. And to remember page one, two, three, and four and, and follow his training. Everything's still on YouTube and available. So mm -hmm. make sure you, you follow those resources. Okay. Okay. Thanks for All right, listening. guys. Well, everybody have a good night. I'm going to go back to hurricane prep. Everybody be uh -oh. safe out be there. Careful. Be careful. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.